Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahova, Second Swing Golf, and today I have a very special guest. I'm joined by Kenton Oates here on the Pink Tour van. And today we're talking about some brand new irons for 2022 here. Uh, Kenton, it's a very exciting time. Uh, Ping I-230 yeah. irons. So uh, very exciting as someone who's played I-210 now for a few years. Yeah. So I'm very excited to learn more about 230. So yeah. uh, first of all, Kenton, just uh, kind of introduce where I-230 came from. And because uh, I know you guys are a little unique in kind of your, uh, you know, releasing the products maybe every few years for yeah. Player's cavity iron in particular. So talk to me about how this concept came about. Yeah, so obviously replacing an I-210, uh, you mm -hmm. being a user, you understand uh, yeah. kind of the responsibility that's gonna oh, yeah. go into our uh, engineers on their plate there. Um, I-210, this series iron is always, we're asking a, a large wide variety mm -hmm. of things from it. We want, you know, from yourself to 15 handicaps yeah. to be able to play it, mm -hmm. as well as, you know, Tyrrell Hatton and Victor oh, Hovland. Sure. So, it casts such a wide net that it's gonna be, it's gonna take some time, and we're not gonna we're not gonna put it out until it's right. And obviously, the world kind of got a little crazy during a time frame where yep. maybe it should have come out. Yeah. And then, um, so yeah, the I think the big message with two thirty was we want to improve it, but we want to make sure that we retain the benefits that the two ten was giving it as well. So that was the big compromise we give. We want to make it better so we can put out a new product. We also have to retain all the great things that the 210 right. was. For sure, for sure. So let's kind of dive into that tech then. So uh, what's what's all under the hood there? I know yeah. there's a lot of, probably some similar things with, from I210, of yeah. course, but like you've mentioned, you're improving them, you're refining them. So kind of just give us the rundown on all the tech that's involved. Yeah, I think uh, the two main things that we wanted to prove on the 230 were look, feel, and sound. We wanted to try to streamline that so yeah. every iron felt and looked a little bit more consistent than it was. Like the two, the, the I series line since I-20 maybe, uh, might mm -hmm. have been, I think it was I-20, started to have more of that progressive look where those long irons get a little bit bigger sure. and the short irons yep, get a little yep. bit smaller. Well, on the 230, we wanted to try to streamline that. Well, you still get the higher launch and big forgiveness of that bigger four iron, but let's try to make it look more like your seven iron. Yeah. Just from a, an aiming standpoint, that's gonna make it a lot easier. And then from a feel standpoint, we really wanted to clean up the feel. We had. The I-210 long irons have a slightly different feel than the short irons. We just tried to really want to not only cons make that more consistent, but we wanted to uh, try to make it so that it was better throughout. And so the way that they did that was, and you'll see this, this is drastically different looking yes, from this is. perspective, yes, right? So there's still a CTP weight in this, in sure. this club. It's just tucked behind that badge. Uh -huh. Okay. And then this piece right here, um, this aluminum piece goes over the top. And that's really controlling our sound. So a lot of our initial feedback with guys okay. is this feels much more like an eye blade or a blueprint, a smaller club right. than the 210 did. So that's that's great when guys have that feedback. And then from an offset perspective, um, especially this is a seven iron, you're not gonna notice it as much, but you get that four, five, and six, right. it's definitely a little bit less than those longer irons. Sure, sure. Now talk about the, you know, I know the Micromax grooves have been really popular yeah. with irons, so, and there's, so there's more of them there too. Yeah. So, and then testing with like I-59, mm -hmm. and then I-525, they've been really consistent from a variety of lies, at least in our initial testing. Yeah, our testing as well, we obviously put this through a bunch of robot and player testing at Ping, and uh, a lot of us in the office did the 230 Micromax testing. Yeah. I remember doing it with a pitching wedge and you were like, there's no way this is what's actually happening. Yeah. You'd like spritz the club and the ball with a little bit of water. So simulating like a dew like sure, morning. Yeah. And like it was like gone and like spinning. And you're like, <laughs> how is this right. possible? So the story there is really, really cool. So on those, um, it's not gonna be like, if you're in heavy, heavy rough, right, it, it, right. It's, go it's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's like that in between lie, like you're gonna reduce a little bit of your flyers and yep. then really that dewy morning or you're in that first cut where it's just sitting down, you don't know, you're gonna, just gonna get a lot more consistency. Instead of yeah. losing, say, six to eight degrees of launch and 4,000 RPMs of spin, which say you lose one degree of launch and 1,500. So right. your back to front yardages are gonna be a lot more consistent throughout the day, which is hopefully gonna help you play better golf. And you just know what to expect a little bit more. Correct. The expectation is there. Yeah. There's less, the, the variance one yeah. goes from here to here. You don't right. have to play for so much variance, Absolutely. which is great. Absolutely, and then I also wanted to point out just the color coding chart that Ping uses. And I know that's been a staple for Ping yeah. irons for a long time, but I imagine this is capable there as well. For sure, you're gonna be able to, in the eye line, some lines you might know through the past is some variants, there's some restrictions. The, the eye series line will always be a situation where you can get maroon to gold. Yeah, So, and then lastly, I did wanna to touch on just what the tour adoption process is like in general, but and even specifically for I-230, I know it's a little early for you guys here yep. still, but 
what's that process like? And I know you mentioned some of that feedback you've gotten already from the yeah. tour pros, but talk to me a little bit more about that. Yeah, I mean, watching an iron in the middle of the year probably isn't our team's favorite yeah. situation because it's a, it's hard to change an iron. You gotta put it through a lot more tests oh, yeah. than you do a driver. Like, we gotta make sure every, we gotta hit off side hill, rough, all that mm -hmm. jazz. But um, it's been really, really positive, And we've already seen, I would say, five or six players worldwide put them in play. Okay. And I think that's a testament to the engineers. They did a great job of not changing the characteristics and performance that the guys are seeing, but now they're getting the benefit from the Micro Max groove, from the cleaner look and the better feel. So they're not seeing their launch and spin change that much. So they're like, okay, this is an I-series iron. I've played 200s, I've played 210s. Yeah. I like the way this one looks better, it feels better. And these Micro Max grooves might help me save a few shots. It's, it's been pretty good to see five right. or six guys switch and then over at a major championship last week at the British is pretty exciting yeah. for us. Yeah, that's very cool. Well, we're very excited for the I-230 irons. Uh, Kenton, thanks for taking the time. Uh, we're thank very so excited much. to get the testing in as well, but yep. uh, thank you again and uh, good luck this week as well here yeah. at the 3M Open. Perfect, thank you, Drew. Well, from the Ping Tour truck, now we're at the Tour Van at Second Swing uh, in Scottsdale. And we've got Bradley Harrelson today with us. Uh, Bradley, we have you here uh, largely because you're a ping player uh, mm -hmm. and you have been playing I-59 irons, but I-230 looks like you're pretty intrigued by it. Uh, you've done some very initial kind of warm up testing here and uh, your face is kind of lighting up. So uh, <laughs> yeah. give me kind of, you know, tell the, the viewers a little bit about, you know, your, your playing I-59, the setup you have now, maybe the numbers that you're getting with it and what you like about that club and don't like about that club and maybe then why I-230 has you so intrigued. Uh, yeah, so 59 has been great for me. Yeah. Um, smaller profile coming from iBlade yeah. beforehand, and they kind of discontinued that, so I moved into 59s. Yeah. Um, I'm already kind of a low ball hitter, so the 59 with a little bit more spin that it was producing, just kicking the ball up in the sure. air, wasn't having as many height issues as I used to. Yeah. Um, heard about I-230 from a couple guys that I know at Peng, mm -hmm. kind of telling me, yeah. hey, there's a new club coming give it a look saw mm. pictures loved it getting in here i'm already loving the feel of it right and it's solving the height issues with a little bit more feel right which is what i'm really liking um, mm -hmm. 59s can get a little bit clicky yeah okay not a not to, not too worried about that but yeah. if they can improve on that that's awesome right and you know and i think one of the things too as someone i i have i have i two tens and i 500s in the bag so something oh, I'm, I'm also looking forward to knowing about you know, how I-230 performs. And the cool thing is that they shrunk the blade lengths in the longer irons on I-230 yes. compared to I-210. So that that look at, at a dress will appeal to, you know, the better player that likes that smaller uh, club head profile. And um, I, I do want, I mean, it's great to get your feedback today because as someone who, you know, very familiar with playing ping clubs, a uh, really good professional player, like that's that's the type of feedback we're looking for here. So I'm, I mean, I, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And we're all really excited. I think it's going to be a really, really solid club from them. It took a yeah. long time. We Let's were talking, you know, it. like the, the conversations we just had on the, on the tour truck here um, with the, the techs on, on there, they were they were already talking about the, the tour adoption. And yeah. this was, I mean, we're now filming this a little, a few months after the fact, but the tour, the tour pros on, you know, PGA Tour, LPGA, wherever they might be playing, really excited about I-230 and they've already got a bunch of wins with it. So uh, only, only positive things so far. Definitely. All right, so let's uh, hit. Let's probably go, let's go five shots here. Okay. Um, let's hit a few shots. Just go and get your feedback on how it feels, how it looks, uh, maybe how the numbers compare to what your gamer uh, I fifty nine produces for you. Yeah, just from a straight look perspective, um, coming from an I blade before this, it, it just kind of looks like a very, very tiny bit bigger I blade. Okay. So it's already comfort wise right there for yeah. me. I, I it's had, not like too big. No, it's not yeah. too big at all. Wow. <laughs> I mean, look how straight that first shot is. Yeah, that, that works out pretty well there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Those are good numbers for yeah. what I'm seeing. I um, mean, repeatability. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty good two, <laughs> first two balls there. Dead straight. That one, I mean, if we're going to get really picky, that one had six feet, nine inches side, or, uh, of side there. So, um, And six feet to me, that's yeah. that's still playable. A little oh, open pff, face. I hope that's still playable. <laughs> Baby little cut. A little longer there. 
a little hotter off the face on that one. Direction was. I mean, uh, the ball hasn't. I mean, can yet. I have a set now? That's the question. Yeah, <laughs> the ball hasn't really curved yet. We're <laughs> <laughs> three shots in. The ball has moved offline, maybe a total of ten feet. Oh, there's one that's going to move a little bit. Well, maybe. <laughs> I guess my standards are a little high. Uh, well, I you're you're like a professional player, you know. I mean, that's standards are high, right? Yeah. Um, so any, all professional players are like that. But um, so, what do you think about? Um, I mean, talk to me about the numbers and the feel. I mean, what do you think so far? I mean, I mean number wise, it's definitely coming shots, off hotter. Yeah. You know, I, I'm getting the same kind of speed that I typically do. Ball speed's coming off a little bit hotter for me. Okay. Um, it's not underspinning it. That's yeah. my normal kind of spin rate. I'm, again, okay. I'm a low, I'm a low spin right. player. Getting as much as I can is yeah, is cause, great. Because one of the things maybe I know you probably wanted to look into was I-59. You said was helping it produce more spin, so it's kind of helping yeah. you get the ball in the air a little bit. But you don't want to lose that with this club. No, and I'm not. And that's the nice thing is, you know, height 134 feet. To me, that's perfect. Oh yeah, because that's able. I'm using I'm using landing angle to stop a lot of my shots. Yeah. Now I'm used to it running out a little bit. I'm not used to the, having it grab. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's maybe pretty... go a couple more here, and then we'll talk about all the the numbers here. That's a little chunky, but it's still gonna be. Goodness. See, that's and that's you know if that's your miss, I mean you're. I mean I'm just quickly gonna bring this up because yeah. this is the miss, right? Yeah. Now, that's... it's going to get there a little differently. It's going to roll out a little bit more because of the low spin. But hey, if you if that's your chunk miss, I think you're going to take that. <laughs> I'll take that all day long because is it's playable, and I can get away with that. Oh, yeah. I don't play as much. Yeah. But getting you know missing a shot, still having it green side, yeah. just going to allow me to work around that yeah. ball instead of it being 20, right. 30 yards short. Right. I mean, your ball speed dropped your, from your average three miles an hour. So it's yeah. not like that, you know, if that's Club your... speed actually picked up, so that was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need to swing a little slower. Just a little bit of an open face potentially there, but... Yeah. But that's the miss i I rather see. Yeah. So we've got our six shots up here. I'm going to actually try to bring the uh, map up that way. There we go. So... I mean, from a consistency standpoint, right. that's right. that's what I'm looking for all day. Yep. Directional, I can choose and you know, mm -hmm. I can fix. Yeah. You know, it, you know, sleeping a little odd some days. That's that's what it <laughs> yeah. is. And also, I did want to try one. So you can see these these, I guess, deviation numbers. I wanted to just try one and take this out just to see that spin number. Look at that. So you're out of the five. I mean, these are the five, I guess, good contact shots that yeah. you had. You had the one that was a little chunky, but the spin deviation of just 77. And so you look at the- I can play that all day. You know, I mean, you're at 57, 58, 57, 58, 58. <laughs> so <laughs> that's pretty consistent right there. Yeah, every, every other deviation, the ball speed, I like that coming yeah. off at just a one mile an hour deviation. Yeah. It, it's just the face is so much more consistent. That's, yeah. you know, that's something we always, as a better player, when they talk about, they don't show you the actual cavity and they have it yeah. hidden. You're always worried that it's like hollow and yeah. you're gonna get poppers up. Could it get, you know, the, that flyer or that, that yeah. kind of one that goes a little further than you're like, how did, you know? Yeah. This is there? just, this is solid. Yeah. This feels like a blade. Yeah. It looks, it looks very similar to a blade. It's, yeah. it's that close where these can yeah. go in my bag, even just off of that, but off of looks. Yeah. They can go straight in the bag. Right. The other thing too I wanted to point out was the Micro Max grooves too. So that, that groove design, little, like a, a couple extra grooves on the face. A little tighter uh, spacing on him, adding a little more consistency. I know that was in I-59. They incorporated it into I-525, now I-230s. And again, the name of the game for ping has always been consistency. Yeah. Well, it's also got that hydro here. pearl finish yeah. too. Which, I which mean, in Arizona, you, know, you wouldn't here. think about it, but yeah. in the mornings, it's really dewy and it's, oh, sure. it's when, the, when the maintenance crew lights the water. So getting that same consistency off the spin when I'm practicing in the morning yeah. before it gets too hot, really consistent. Yeah, and that of course applies to someone like me in Minnesota. Yeah. When it rain, sometimes snow, you know, there's a lot of different conditions uh, versus Arizona, but same thing applies, consistency yeah. there. So um, really good stuff here. I think the I-230, uh, and I, I mean, do we know if it's gonna go in the bag for sure yet? Uh, there may or may not be a set on order already. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. But it's, it's great to hit them, I know, and, and just get that, that 
conf confirmation of yeah, what yeah. I was what I was hearing. Right. Well, we confirmed it with seven iron. We've got the four iron here. We can also test. Um, so let's hit a few of those. And just before you hit again, okay. maybe tell the viewers numbers wise what roughly you kind of like to do with four iron before you hit some shots here. Uh, four iron. I'm, I'm looking like two ten. Okay. Right around there with the four iron carry distance. Okay. Um, my ball flight comes out a little lower. So yeah. It sometimes is a little shorter than that. Yeah. But I like that 210 mark. Okay. With that five iron though, let me, or that seven iron there, this might go a little farther. Yeah. Kind of like that. That was pure. That was pure. Okay. Oh so my gosh. <laughs> looks like I got a little bit more yardage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, launch angle, 1.49. So. The, the I know that you're you're worried about the ball getting still in the air. Still 110 feet or 109 yeah. feet of That's, uh, in the peak height there. So it's not like it's like going too low and not spinning enough. I guess. No, I really like that. Little open face, but See, 214 still yeah. carrying. You didn't lose any. I mean, you're still not losing any distance with that. Yeah. It's still. You know, if any part of my game is not the greatest, it is this four iron. Yeah. So. Getting that ball up, again, I can, I'm still working on a couple of things to get that, the shot shape a little bit better. Right. But that height is where I'm really liking this. Yeah. More speed, more height. Look at that. See, that was, that's pretty. So, and I think one thing I wanted to bring up here just quickly. That's so your first shot was, you know, the, I guess this, pull kind of it wasn't really a i mean i don't know if it's a if pull is the right word but it's just so started one out left. to the left but it only dropped your average height it was it was seven feet lower than your average height so yeah. it's not like you're hitting some low like not hitting low spin anymore. pull that hooks and dives out of the sky it's still staying up there and giving you stopping power yeah that that is really helpful for me especially playing some of the longer courses mm -hmm. that will be an interesting one there that was caught Just a little it. bit. Okay, yeah. yeah. So a so little bit drops. fat, it sounded like, right? A little bit fat, height drops. That's a typical long iron miss for me. Okay. But I'm liking that carry distance doesn't mm -hmm. doesn't drop, drop underneath my number. Didn't drop. Yeah, what you were what you're looking for. And it, and again, it's gonna roll out a lot more because of the low spin that you maybe missed it with. But yeah. it's still almost 100 feet in the air. That's pretty darn good, actually, for that miss. Yeah, a little little up on the ball. Kind of bounced it. That one was back to a solid yeah, contact that's just there. Solid. Woo! 224. Yeah. 222. So let's bring these numbers up here and then we'll uh, kind of quickly summarize the four iron. So you were thinking about, you know, what 210 ish is kind of what you what I look for. had been looking for. Yeah. You get a little bit more distance with this one, it looks like. Now, the loft might be slightly different than what you're used to. Um, I-59 to similar. four iron. Are they similar? Yeah, I looked at them. They're similar. Okay. So you get a little bit more heat there on impact. Um, and I thought your, you know, the miss that you had, quote unquote miss, was, I mean, it's on the dispersion map, it's just slightly, uh, I guess, shorter, but it's not even the shortest carry of the five. No, the, the open still, face miss was. You know, you're still within probably 10 yards of, of the exact target line, not even. Yeah. So pretty, I mean, you have to be pleased with that, right? Oh, I'm 100% pleased with that. That's it. It just reaffirms that they're increasing every year. They're bettering the irons, right? And like I can have a miss hit like that with the 59. It might have been like that. Yeah. But it's definitely gonna drop off in height. Yeah. You know, on this, I think there's a little bit more bounce on the bottom of this. Yeah. You know, even though I don't take much of a divot, I'm using that bounce. Yeah. On my on the fat shots. Yeah. Um, the nice thing about this is I actually feel like there's more in the tank if I needed to hit this yeah. harder, which for off the tee, mm -hmm. I can do that, Yeah, which gives me more options. Yeah. So I think, I mean, I would imagine a lot of the scenarios where you're going to use this club, long par fours or maybe a short par five, shorter par five where you're going for it in two. And you need the stopping power you need, but you also need the precision of yeah. you know, an iron shot. That's well, going it's the, the height. Meat. That's the height that if and I'm keeping yes. it right around the same height as the seven iron. Yep. 
that's and that's what we look for. Let's just for the fun of it, right? I think this is the one that yeah. So we take that out, we raise that up a little bit more on the average because that was the one you chunked and it kind of it was I think ninety five feet and you yeah it's ninety five feet. So you bring it up and you're right in that ballpark. So uh, I got one more for you. Let's do it. So with the versatility of this, this is what I want to test. Can we hit it low still? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, so what'd you do there? You just kind of hit a little knockdown one. Yeah, it's more of that tee shot for out here. Yeah. To see that while also seeing the same height as my normal shot. Yeah. You can go back right now. Yeah. Versatility. You hit that knockdown low, kind of. I don't want to say wind ball, but you know the, the chaser. The wind ball, yeah. The, the chaser little... off the tee. As as the guys at Stanford say, it's the seed ball. The seed ball. <laughs> yeah. Because you're just. Yeah. You get multiple shots in the bag with those uh, yeah. two thirties. Pretty good stuff. Like it. All right. So Bradley testing complete I two thirty irons, um, kind of a fun one for us where we got to start at the ping tour truck and then we get to come down to Scottsdale yeah. test with you for I two thirty. So, um, really good feedback. I thought from you on those irons. Yeah, they were really good and, and consistent. Yeah. That was one of the things that, you know, we've heard about them mm -hmm. is consistency yeah. building off I two, I-210 success. Yep. Um, I think they've created a club that's kind of a a mix mm -hmm. of a couple of their older clubs, added benefits of it to sure. create this new new I-230 yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, really good. And I think the the question we always ask and, and we'll answer ourselves too a little bit in the, in the, the final thoughts section here is who's it for? So I-230 definitely target that kind of a better player, but talk to me about the players when you're in a fitting, someone uh, might be asking about I-230, what are you gonna tell, what type of player would you see, do you see yourself fitting um, for these for these clubs here? In I-230, I mean, yeah, the, the better player yeah. is, is definitely up there, but you know, the, the mid handicapper could mm -hmm. take away a lot of the forgiveness that comes out of this head. Yeah. Maybe they do maybe they do work the ball. Maybe they're a predominant player that likes to see the ball work. Yeah. And all, a club like a G410 and G425 would be a straight club for them, yeah. but this they can still get that ball flight out of yeah. and not lose too much of that forgiveness mm -hmm. level there. So I think there's a good range of mid handicappers, you know, to pros that can, yeah. can benefit from this. Group. Right. And I think the, the consistency and forgiveness on a couple of maybe shots you didn't quite hit perfect, but yeah. you still saw the result was still really good. So I, I think that's a good point to make about not necessarily all single digit handicappers are going to play this. You might see someone creep up into the, yeah. maybe the double digits, but they can still get the forgiveness they need. But also, like you said, if they need to work that ball or if they need to see a certain flight, they can achieve that. Yeah, it's this. always player preference and player dependent. Yeah. You know, if a player likes a smaller option and, you know, they still want forgiveness, this is a great option, mm -hmm. you know, versus like a blueprint. Yeah. Where, you know, if you got a better player that then wants some more forgiveness but doesn't want to lose that workability, this is also the good option for them. Yeah. So you got two different, you know, two different styles as you're looking at from two different handicap ranges yeah. where this club could fit in there. Right. And we also could do combo sets too. Yeah. And that's a good option for those players that need best of all worlds. Yep. Yep. You got the maybe an I-525 can mix in there with uh, a little more forgiveness and a little bit more of kind of the hollow body type design, come down and the set I-230, or you could just go I-230 to, to Blueprint maybe. Yeah, Blueprint, one of the guys on tour is playing 59s and then I-210s. So yeah. combos there and there's all kinds of different options with these ping irons. Yeah, perfect. Well, you know where to get fit golfers, right? In Scottsdale area, you get them here in the ping fitting performance center at Second Swing. Bradley will take good care of you, get you some I-230 irons, or of course at any of our store locations, you can get fit for I-230, or you can go through the online fitting uh, and support team at secondswing.com. But regardless, you gotta get fit for these irons. Got a lot of consistency, a lot of forgiveness, a lot of great uh, playability with these I-230 irons. Bradley, thank you for joining. You're welcome. Doing the testing today. Uh, yeah. Good luck with those in the bag. Thank you.